oh, we're watching it. Butcher shops are keeping a close eye on how the COVID-19 outbreak is affecting the country's meat supply chain. The local butcher and market in Winter Garden says this week is the first week they've had to jump through some hoops. It's made it a little more uh, involved to order for what I need, but I've been able to find, with very few exceptions, everything that I that I need for my customers. What were the exceptions? Uh, prime tenderloin. <laughs> And of course, it's Mother's Day weekend, and there's not going to be much prime tenderloin available. Across town, Choice Meats is also running into trouble finding certain cuts. Such as your tomahawks, your bone and ribeyes, your New York strip. There are certain things that we're seeing a shortage of. Kalasar is increasing the amount of truck deliveries to every morning, buying in bulk and increasing their frozen supply. Make sure that our shelves are stocked with some kind of protein. It might not be the specific cut that a customer wants, but at least we have a replacement in stock. More than 20 plants have temporarily closed as workers are getting sick or staying home because of the virus. And Tyson announced Monday even more plant closures could be coming. Pork has been a problem and will be for the next couple weeks. My suppliers have told me for us, by the middle of next week, we should be fairly reliable for whatever we need. Major grocery store chains were also keeping an eye on the meat supply possible shortage and they're making appropriate calls as well. Costco is limiting customers to three meat products and Publix is limiting customers to two chicken products. A representative tells me that's until further notice. Sonica Dange, WESH 2 News.